Hello mga lords, it's Weng here again. Welcome back to my channel, Weng's World Australia. Salamat sa pagbisita ulit. At sa hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, please don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell on to be notified with my future videos. Okay, so first of all, you need to shop around. So when you shop around, you make sure that you can get at least uh, two or more quotes. If you want to buy uh, appliances, you can go to either Domain, Harvey Norman, Good Guys. You can go A Mart Furnitures. Those are the, you know, the the famous and popular furniture store here in Australia. And in, in regards to food and grocery shopping, meron kami weekly or I think fortnightly marketing brochures that you can get from your mailbox, like this one. So there are three big shopping set market or supermarket. You know this, meron kayong makikita sa inyong mailbox na mga ganito. Yung mga brochures na ganito, ito mga ganito. So, have a look at this. My half price yung Woolworths. So, what I do every fortnight, ginaganyan ko, I rebrowse them all. And if you notice na, say for example, half price yung coffee, I will buy coffee, maybe two or three coffees, para makapag book buy ako at makasave dahil at that time half price in coffee and for example guys my discounted na rice kasi yung bigas syempre hindi natin maiiwasan niya yung rice na yan um they rarely go on sale but they if they do always uh, make sure that you buy them in bulk as well yung rice mag mag half price din yan mag markdown so, yun lang po ang tips ko about food and groceries. Second tip that I can give you is to cook from home. Avoid takeaways, avoid fast food, and yeah, just avoid going out to eat. So, that's the second tip in living here in Australia. Try to cook from home. At least you know what you ate, what are the ingredients that are, that are you eating, and at least if you want to be healthy, um, you, you know that they are fresh, those produce or food that you are eating. And yeah, um, it does make a big difference in your budget, especially if you are a student or a tourist. Uh, thirdly is um, your accommodation. So accommodation here in Australia are really expensive. Um, if you noticed in Asian countries, a lot of tourists go there and they can actually be saying that your $1,000 goes for a month and you can survive but most of the foreign countries like here in Australia the big expense that you can spend in here is the accommodation so my tip to save money is to just live close by to where you work or where you are studying for example if you are a student find an accommodation that is shared or somewhere um, really walkable or you know very distant to um, your workplace and you find they are a bit expensive but if you weigh things up you can actually save time you can actually save fuel and also yeah save time um, by living close by to your work and also thirdly is transport um, public transport is the most advisable to do and more economical but in here in Western country you do need cars uh, cars are really necessity here in Australia not just here also in Japan America in Canada wherever in Europe um, but in Europe usually um, public transport is very accessible because they do have trains and they d uh, places are really close by um, yeah, in transportation, you can save fuel. How to? Well, if you buy groceries in those shopping market or supermarket, they have fuel ducats. They can give you discount. If you keep those fuel ducats, look at the validity of those fuel ducats and you find that you can use them and get at least four cents discount. 
So yun po, you have to shop around, um, even not just for food or for necessary items, but if you want to buy things like appliances, furniture, or anything like services, you need service and repairs, all you have to do is to shop around, get a quote, two or more quotes from businesses to make sure that you will get the cheap price if not just cheap make sure also to get a quality service quality item so yes first thing is to shop around next one para makasave kayo um for example magkakaroon na kayo ng bahay or if you wanna buy a, buy a house or a car um of course shop around as well um, get a really good contractor or get a really good broker to find um, choices a uh, choices of banks that can offer you the lowest possible interest in the market because different banks they do differ in offering interest so pay off your mortgage later on if you have more money to pay off kahit na hindi sa I know guys, uh, advice, I have to listen to my own advice as well. Kung meron kayong extra money, don't pay just the minimum required payment. Make the most of your ano, savings. Rather than save it, put it in a savings account. Put it into your mortgage account. Dahil nakakasave po kayo ng interest kung magbabayad kayo ng uh, more than sa minimum requirement. At the same time, kung magkuha man kayo ng credit card, always also research what credit card that you can get, which is the cheapest interest that offers. And also, make sure na ano siya, um, may insurance yung card niyo. Alam niyo po yung insurance. Like for example, if you buy from this credit card, they will also offer um insurance for example you want to go buy a fl uh, buy a flight ticket my travel insurance po na naka inherit sa credit card na yan yung mga ganyang bagay kailangan po mag-research tayo bago bibili or bago mag jump into um decision especially especially kung investment yung uh, investment or major na asset yung bibili nyo. For example, cars, for example, yung bahay, or kukuha kayo ng credit card. Um, yan. So, yes, guys, sana, sana may natutunan kayo sa aking munting vlog na ito about um, money matters on how to save money here in Australia. Thank you for watching. See you in my next vlog. God bless!